Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we're gonna take an issue, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your eighth house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support in whatever format it comes, liking, sharing, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it. It's the easiest and fastest way to grow the channel. It's very much appreciated. Thank you to Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended by your coffees, donations. It uh, allows me to continue doing this for you guys. Cross watches, you're more than welcome. Message memo will be for you. All the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, private reads are open again, Scorpio, but only for a couple of weeks while I'm settled in this place. Um, for a couple of weeks, anyway. And um, yeah, so if you do want to get in, there's not many. There's a couple of times in the morning, a couple of times in the evenings for where I am time zone in uh, Mexico. So if you do want to get in, please jump in quick. Okay, so. Scorpio, two more. Ooh, two of them. Ooh, death in the five of wands. Death is you guys, the five the five of wands, sorry. For, it could be a bit of a Freudian slip there. The five of wands is a bit of conflict. Are you dealing with difficult people, Scorpio? I get the impression you're dealing with difficult people. Kind of like a Venus wedge between Pluto and Uranus here. What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Advice. And potential outcome. Okay. <laughs> I wish I'd have said it. I was like literally saying the magician's gonna be somewhere. Magician, bottom of the deck. Okay. Guys, you'd be, you need to embrace your magic, which is strange considering the last few readings I've kind of said like, your magic, your magic. And for some of you, I don't think you're recognizing it. Or you might be confused what I mean by it. When I said magic, it doesn't necessarily mean hocus pocus, you know, it could do. Uh, if you've got the ability, fantastic. Um, I mean, Scorpionic energy, Scorpionic magic is, 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 is the alchemy of the soul where pain becomes power and vulnerability comes strength. That's Scorpionic magic. That's the magic I'm talking about. And to, to truly step into Scorpionic magic, you need to embrace your deepest fears. You need to transform them into your greatest strengths, which is what you're, you, you're, uh, you're doing here. But there's something that's... There's something that's bothering you in the terms of, I feel like there's a person here. This Five of Swords, there's a, there's a, a particular person. Um, or it could be just people in general. Something's rubbing you the wrong way. It's reminding me of um, um, something I read the other week. Uh, just, just think of difficult people as sandpaper. They, they may rub you the wrong way, but eventually you'll be polished and shine brighter. <laughs> And that's kind of what's going on here. There's a shift that's taking place in your life, a huge shift. And I think the universe is asking you to assess what, what's repeated in your life. What, what energies are keep, re keep repeating? Do you have the same arguments? Do you have the same ego battles with people? If it's the same, it's a lesson you've not learned, you've not seen. Five of Swords and Death. What we're aware of is the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is representative cycle. So this is something that's repeat. Eat, sleep, repeat. Do you engage in arguments when you should really walk away? Because sometimes you have to realize some battles are best won by not fighting them. You know, you, you kind of just stay still, let things be. What we're not aware of is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a powerhouse when it comes to recognising what needs cutting away. 
in doing so. Um, with truth, with a sharpness, with the ability to do it from an intellectual platform as well. There's, there doesn't have to be anything nasty about the Queen of Swords. She can be if she wants to be, uh, and don't get caught up in genders. Um, but you've got the ability here to cut through the rubbish, essentially. I think you're assessing, you might be assessing your relationships here. And, and, and when I say relationships, it doesn't have to be romantic. This is all types of relationships. And I think you're recognising something here and you're willing to do something about it. The recent past is the tower. So the tower is that Mars energy. Mars is currently in your sign, giving you an oomph. I'm gonna be looking for the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, yes, is kind of disappointment, but it's Mars in Scorpio. So I just wanna see what's, uh, what's going on with you guys. I, I think this has come through today to realize that either there's confusion about your magic you know, if, you, if you're thinking the, the magic is outside of yourself in creating um, um, a manifestation of some kind, like I say, if that's a skill that you've got, absolutely incredible. However, this, this is about embracing pain, becoming vulnerable and powerful. The advice, the Ace of Swords, evolve and expand. There's a breakthrough coming. There's some sort of truth that's come to the surface here, which might have took you on a little bit of a spin. Or you might have given a truth that's put somebody in a spin. I'm gonna check out the Six of Swords as well with the five plus the one. Um, so whatever it is, it's gonna have you navigating away from whatever this uh, energy is. I'd, if this is, a, if this is a, a friendship or a romantic partnership, I'd, I think that you've recognized now you're dealing with somebody very, very difficult. Um, or there's just something that just doesn't quite tick your box anymore. There's this, it's like you're not getting what you put in and now there's a shift. Someone's having a realization um, about this shift. So maybe you've pulled your energy away and now they're scratching their heads. But there's just something here about recognizing the lesson that needs to be learned. So whatever's repeated in your life, but ultimately to step into your magic. And when I say magic, I mean alchemy. Yeah, I, I, I never like to see these two together. Magician and the moon, I, it feels like there's somebody in your environment that's not 100% fantastic, if I'm honest. Um, with the eight of swords, it's something you might have closed your eyes to, but you've had some sort of a hard breakthrough at the moment. 10 of cups, it uh, could be a family member. Ooh, I just heard narcissistic sister. So that's for one person at least anyway. Um, interesting. So yeah, tap into your magic because your outcome is the Ace of Cups. A beautiful new beginning, an emotional new beginning. Recognising where you <sighs> decrease the amount of cups that you fill to recognize what comes back to you. And then you kind of, it's, it's a strange phenomenon really. When you recognize that and you, um, you realize how much you're not, you've got that self love. So you, others pouring into you is makes no difference because it's already filled from yourself. You're going through a transformation here. It's quite a nice one, but I believe it, it comes in the form of recognizing some sort of difficult people. Okay, the Five of Cups, Mars in Scorpio is the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. You are going to get the stable character in your life. The King of Pentacles is somebody solid, somebody that's um, um, dependable, loyal. Again, don't get in genders. This is somebody that's in it for the long haul. So I want to say don't give up hope for love or for, you know, reciprocity. It's coming. Nine of Wands is here to say it's almost here. Um, it's, it's Moon in Sagittarius, which is the 12th of the 12th. And I do believe Mars will still be in Scorpio at that point as well. So, and in that same month, we have the, the Moon in Cancer, which is roughly the time Mars in Scorpio finishes. 
I'm gonna have to check this out, guys. Bear with me. So I know Venus is in Scorpio for uh, Christmas as well. Mars in Scorpio. No, it's not. It comes out on the 24th. 24th of November. However, if you uh, follow Vedic Astrology, it's the 16th of November to the 28th of December. Um, but either or, it's, there's, there's an opportunity that's coming here. There's going to be some sort of um, uh, stable energy coming into your life. Uh, re reciprocated energy from friends or a, a, a partnership that's worth the long run. Saturn has shown you some tests. The world is with the Eight of Cups. So we've got Saturn and then Saturn in Pisces. Six of Swords is with the King of Swords and the Page of Cups. There is a, a, a strong partnership with us in, in your environment that will be coming in. Uh, there might be a distance at the moment, so they're kind of seeing back to back here. But the Page of Cups is saying that if you if you keep believing, believing in your magic, believing in your ability to draw in this energy, and the last card is the Fool. Um, I'm quite happy that you're coming out a, a wonderful energy on the other side of this. But to make that transition easier, you need to recognise the repeating patterns in your life. And it's been shown here, especially with the Ace of Wands, eh, Ace of Swords. We've got the um, Rabanti Staircase. So our Fibonacci sequence, uh, evolve and expand. The more that we, it's a spiral. We just see deeper each time. So we've got two Aces in the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. Abracadabra, your world will never be the same again. You might be seeing a lot of ones, one, 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 10, 11, 11, 10. But there seems to be a dramatic change in your, um, in your environments, what's surrounding you is the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower and the Five of Swords. So there's a big shake-up that's happening in your life. You might be, it might not be actually sort of outside of yourself, it might be going off internally at the moment, but what it's doing is it's shaping what's coming in the future and that's the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups and the Magician. Okay. Enjoy the process. Uh, enjoy Scorpionic magic, enjoy the alchemy. And that's interesting, the card for alchemy is the uh, Sagittarius energy of uh, temperance and that's with the fool at the bottom of the deck. So there could be um, opportunities for travel coming for some of you soon. If you do get the opportunity, please take it. It broadens the mind and uh, experiences everything, okay? In your extended, I want to see this, uh, I'm going to be checking out what these aces are all about. We'll, uh, we'll take the energy of the aces and we'll mirror this reading. See what we get. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Venus in Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have Aries in Scorpio. Gemini, Virgo. Cancer, Pisces. Jupiter in Gemini. Mars in Pisces. Capricorn, Cancer. Mercury in Cancer. Moon in Libra. Saturn in Libra. Aries, Mars in Scorpio, Moon in Sagittarius, and Moon in Cancer. Swords, Cups. Swords and Cups. <laughs> Pentacles, Wands, eventually. Everyone's here, those of you standouts. Take care, see you soon.